Right now at 6, a mother under arrest after police say she shot her two children while they were still in their beds. And NBC10 was there as police took her into custody. We appreciate you joining us here at 6 o'clock. I'm Jim Rosenfield. I'm Jacqueline London. It followed an intense search for her this morning. All of this unfolded in Upper Makefield Township, Bucks County. Sky First 10 live above that scene. You can see people are still going in and out of the home. NBC 10's Deanna Durante is joining us live in Doylestown. Deanna, the details of this case are just heartbreaking. The 38-year-old woman we have just learned has appeared before a Bucks County judge. Her bail denied tonight. She is charged with three counts of attempted murder. Investigators say that they had hopes for a miracle here, but they have learned that the children are gravely injured. Hey, show your hands! Show your hands! 11.33 this morning. Still in what appears to be pajamas, 38-year-old Trin Wynn is arrested. It was four and a half hours earlier. Police say they were called to this home in Newtown. For a report of an armed su subject. Wynn's 22-year-old neighbor says she asked a favor of him, then pointed a gun at him and tried to fire. Nguyen then pulled the trigger two times, but by the grace of God, the gun did not fire. Melchiondo engaged Nguyen, wrapped her in a bear hug, and eventually was able to disarm her. She then immediately fled the area in a white Toyota Sienna minivan. Police issued an alert for Wynn and her van. At the time police arrived, they didn't know Wynn had two kids, boys, 9 and 13. Upon entry, both boys were found still alive, but in their beds with gunshot wounds to their heads. Police rushed the children to the hospital. Their injuries too severe to survive. As for their mother, she was spotted not far from the home in her van. NBC 10 was there as she was taken into custody. Police say they have recovered evidence that shows Wynn tried to take her own life. They say that she uh, ingested something. She was taken to the hospital. She was treated and released again right now. She is being held without bail. The Bucks County District Attorney says both boys will be organ donors. He says when that happens, the charges against their mother will be upgraded to homicide. In Doylestown, Deanna Durante, NBC 10 News. So many awful details, Deanna. Thank you.